Hey vlog, it is day one of week two of vlogging and currently I'm looking at the milestones and let me show you what we gotta do for week two. two. And for milestone two, it says we have to have a video of the Arduino controlling a servo motor. We have to have IDE sketch used for servo motor, video of Arduino controlling ultrasonic sensor, IDE sketch for ultrasonic sensor control, and yeah, so that's what we have to have for milestone two, so let's get started. So, for the first day, what I needed to do is I need to find out what each of these parts are, which let me pull it up and I'll show you. I need to find out what the servo motor is and what the ultrasonic sensor is first. And then once I find that out, I will show you what the ultrasonic sensor looked like and the servo motor looked like that I need for milestone two. And I found what the micro server looked like. This is what the servo motor looks like. And I found it in my kit and apparently I need four of them. So here's the first one, second one, and then there's like three in this bag. So I found those and then I also found the ultrasonic sensor, which looks like this, kind of looks like speakers in my opinion. I found that in my kit too. I found this one and then I found a few other ones just in case I need them. And yeah, so I found them. So there's step one. I currently am following for the um, servo motor. And it says that I need just a typical Uno board, which I have right here. And I have it plugged into my computer. And I have, where is it? I have the sketch list up and ready. I haven't put in a code yet, but so far I'm just following the picture right here. And it says I need the servo, which I found right here, and it has the three little wires. And then I need additional wires to plug in, or hookup wires to plug in to number nine, 5V, and then 6ND, which I got the additional wires, and I plugged them into the ends of the servo right here. And then what I did, I put them into the coordinating spots. I put the yellow into nine, and I put the orange into 5V, and I put the white into 6ND. So that's what I did, and I don't know if you can hear it, but here's, here it is. I'll put it up to the volume, see if you can hear it. Yeah. So it's plugged in, it's kind of making a noise right now, and now I think I need to code it. So that's what I'm doing next. I'm going to open the code right here and get started tomorrow. Hey guys, it's day three of vlog week two, and today we worked on finding the code. And lucky for me, I found a sample of a code on the Arduino website and the code I needed for the servo motor is called a sweep. And basically what the sweep does is it allows the servo motor to go 180 degrees from zero degrees in motion. And it tells the servo to what position to go to. And basically that's all it does. It'll work with my robot for movement and that's what will make the robots like legs or other like functions happen. So I'll get into that. I found the code for it and I'll show that in a second. So here we go. Here is day three. Here is the code. I set this up in day two, which I have the video already. Here's the setup of the circuit. It's pretty simple. We didn't need the breadboard at the moment. All we needed was just three hookup wires, servo motor, and then the USB to plug into my laptop. So this is the setup. Without the code, it just makes this weird noise. So we added the code, which the code we found for sweep is right here. And that's where I found the information about like what it does and everything, the 180 degrees is right here. All I did, I opened the code right there and I went to my Arduino editor. editor. This is my servo motor code. And I copied and pasted it. And here we are, and you can see it's working. You can see it rotating. I'll put something in it to show you. All right, just for further demonstration.
Mm, oh, something else. Okay, hold on, let me set this up. I'll show you in just one second. All right, guys, here is the servo motor in action. I'll hold it as still as possible so you can tell I'm not moving it. You can see the little thing on the inside. It's moving 180 degrees. So you can see the wire moving back and forth. That'll be helpful for the robot. I can envision using this to help my robot legs like move or walk back and forth, you know? And also it's on loop. So it'll just keep going like this. Like it won't stop or anything like that. And I can restart it, so yeah. And that's, I guess, part one of Milestone 2. Now we'll be working on um, the ultrasonic sensor next and the code for that. So I'll check back with you in a bit. Hey guys, it is still vlog week two and now it is day four. We have finished part one of the milestone, which was to get a working video of the servo motor and to also accompany it with a Arduino IDE sketch which I have that uploaded. And now we are working on the second part of Milestone 2, and which is to get a working video of this ultrasonic sensor and to accompany it with the proper code, which is what we're gonna be working on for day four and five. So today I am going to be researching and hopefully put together, hopefully put together the, um, the circuit board and the breadboard with the ultrasonic sensor, get all the wiring set up and I'll get started on that. So yeah. Searching. And I found a diagram again, like I found for the servo motor. I found one of how to hook up the ultrasonic sensor. And I also found a parts list, which I found all the parts and I followed the best I could with the description and the ultrasonic sensor diagram given. I plugged it in the best I could. Here's what I came up with. And um, yeah, so basically I needed a bunch of hookup wires. I hooked them from where the breadboard is, where the um, ultrasonic sensor is. I hooked it from there and then I hooked up another row of four of them um, to the negative and positives and then the middle two to nine and 10. And then I hooked up the ends, the positive and negative with the 5V, with the 5V, and then the, then the 6ND, I did that again, and yeah, and so now what we have to do after this is, I have it all hooked up now, I have it hooked up to the computer, it's not really doing anything right now, I don't know if it's supposed to or not, but um, the next thing to do is to code it, so yeah. Here is the code I found. I will be uploading that for the ultrasonic sensor. Everything is loaded up and I've been monitoring distance right there. So yep, it works and happy about that. So this recaps all of our vlog week two and all of our milestone parts are done. So yep.